Welcome back. In the last video I hopefully gave you a ground understanding of basically what electricity is. In this video we're going to go over a f the probably the most fundamental circuit analysis technique known as Ohm. It's Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the voltage equals the current times the resistance. Uh, now we can rearrange this formula for current by dividing both sides by R. So I equals voltage divided by R. And we can also rearrange the equation for resistance by dividing both sides of this equation by I. So resistance equals V on I. These are all essentially the same equation compacted into this very nice, uh, this very nice little formula here. Um, now in the last video, we drew a few circuits containing only a battery or a voltage source and a wire. There's a new circuit element I'll introduce in this video called the resistor, and you've probably seen this before. Um, what the resistor does is it's practically dropping the voltage, or it's creating a, I guess, a resistance to the current. So if you have... Um, 3 volts coming in here and 0 volts leaving, that means that there is 3 volts dissipated across this resistor. And also, if you have one resistor here, one resistor here, one resistor here, um, the voltage is going to be split between them, but it's not necessarily going to be even if you have different values on the voltages, but we'll get to that later. For now, we're just going to do a simple example using Ohm's law. Let's say I have a voltage source here, which could be an AA battery of 1.5 volts. This is connected around a resistor, and the resistor, the resistor is 2 ohms. In real life, the resistor will look something like that. It'll have a band of labels there, which will tell you the value that it resists. And we want to find the current here. And so, using our equation of Ohm's law, current equals V on R. Now it's probably most useful to memorize it in this form, however if, if you have trouble or you don't like fractions as I do, just remember V equals IR and it should be easy enough to rearrange. So in this case our current equals our voltage which is 1.5 over 2 which is equal to 0.75 amps. So nothing, nothing too tricky. Um, hopefully you can remember that the voltage always, or the current always flows out the positive end of the terminal. Uh, I'll do another tricky, tr slightly trickier example where I have the positive end of the terminal facing down and the um, we're asked for the current again. Let's say this is 3 volts and we'll leave the resistor at 2 ohms. Now we, can't, we can still use the equation um, current equals V on R. However, you have to make make note of this, and this is really important when analyzing any circuit, is to always check the, the, the polarities of the battery or the way the current, the position the current. Um, because the positive terminal is here, we know that the current's going to be flowing around this way, so we can expect that this I value is going to be negative. Um, another way of looking at this is we could just as easily replace this whole whole thing here with a positive terminal at the top and the negative terminal at the bottom with a potential difference of negative 3 volts. So in this case it's going to be equal to negative 3 over our resistance, it stays the same, it doesn't really matter about the polarity on a resistor because either way, whichever way you go in, the voltage is always going to drop when you go through the resistor. So anyway, negative 3 on 2 is equal to negative 1.5, and again, that's in amperes. So hopefully this video has given you a basic introduction to Ohm's Law. Um, it really takes a bit of practice, I guess, just getting used to the first fundamental bits of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later.